Hello furries and other internet creatures, today I've got for you a small video about this small flying machine. It is a three-way flying machine. I actually designed it back when I was working on platform builders, but didn't quite uh, get around to covering it. I am also working on some other projects right now, and those are falling apart quite smoothly, but I figured, you know, might as well do a little bit of catch-up. Now, as I mentioned before, this is a three-way flying machine, and there's two ways that this can generally go down. Either it moves all the way down, and then back, and then moves forward, and then it repeats that process. Or it can do what this is doing, which is where it goes all the way across, and then it moves forward, and then it also advances over here on the other side. And obviously this is better because, I mean, it's twice as fast. It doesn't have to cover its tracks twice. Three-way flying machines are often pretty useful for one-time utility projects because, well, they are often not too much work to set up, and then they can cover a large area. And uh, yeah, uh, this one, being very small, is especially great for that. The only downside is that you can only attach a singular extra block to this, or else it will. this return station will not work. Uh, real quick, I just want to make sure on something. Uh, I'm not exactly certain if the audio on this video is right. Uh, it's actually not the mic for once, because my parents got me a much better mic for Christmas, and I, it's very nice. Uh, but yeah, no, now the problem is my headphones, because just after I stopped uploading last year, my headphones broke, had to get new ones, and my new ones are extremely sensitive, and it's hard to tell what's the correct volume on, like, anything. So hopefully I got things right, you can hear me, and you're not going deaf. Please let me know if that's not the case. Anyways, back to the topic at hand. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I designed this flying machine last year when I was making platform builder stuff to handle a couple of things that weren't very ideal. As a few people figured out somehow I didn't mention it in the video, but yeah, the main reason I designed the platform builder was for map art, and I mean obviously the most efficient way to use it is with some sort of stone generator, and yeah I know this is probably really bad for the bitrate, but yeah. So using the stone generator is by far the most efficient way to do it because, well, you don't have to go and gather the blocks. And even better, uh, the three different types of stone that you can generate show up as black or um, it's either gray or light gray. I can't remember which one it is, but either way, it's the same shades as you get from carpet. So it makes a very good background for map art. But um, we're missing white, which is like the most common background color. And that's where we get to the flying machine. If we make our singular extra block a composter, you can actually just generate a giant stone platform and then pave over it with snow. And snow appears as the exact same shade of white as carpet. And there's actually a really nice advantage to having snow as the background. You see, when doing map art, uh, if things are at the different levels, you get these shadows, which often you don't want. But uh, here, if I just place a few blocks here, uh, it might look like it's at a different level, but, uh, updating the map, and then going over here, uh, you'll notice that they actually show up as the same level. And, well, yes, technically the snow is at the same block level as the moss, so you don't end up with the shadows. Which means, yeah, you can just place the blocks directly on top, and then, I mean, if you need to erase, you can always just replace it with any other white block, and, uh, yeah, that'll still show up as white. Or, if you want to erase a very large area, you can just get rid of all the blocks and then just, you know, pave over it with snow again, or at least just that small area, because you don't have to do the whole platform, you could just do a small rectangle if you want to. The other main use case that I've found for this is uh, for literally any background other than white, because if you just place these directly on here, well, those are considered one block higher, so you're going to get those shadows, which is not nice. So uh, you, you would have to like break the block and then put a different block there. You can't even use carpet. And the absolute worst part of all is that if you need to erase and you used basalt, then yeah, that happens. And y yeah, there's ways to fix it. Like if you can get the timing right, you can fix it. But that's not the point. Uh, point is, if we use a downward facing piston for our singular extra block, then you can just place all of this stuff directly on the platform and then use the flying machine to finalize it and flatten everything down to the same level. Of course, if you're going to do that, you need to make sure that whatever use you're using actually can be, you know, moved by a piston. So moss, pumpkin, melon, those don't work. Fortunately, carpet works, but yeah, if you're going to use anything other than like carpet or something, just 
probably test it beforehand. Though, like, even if you mess up and it can't move it, like, it doesn't break the flying machine, it might break the block. And uh, so you can always fix it later, or you can just put a temporary block there and then replace it afterwards. But that requires you to plan ahead, so we all know that's not going to happen. So yeah, those are the two main use cases I can think of. You could probably think of a few more, but uh, let's move on to how does this thing work? The answer is it is extremely complicated. It's a bunch of update order stuff. Uh, it is surprisingly complex. Just about every single part here is doing like multiple things. And uh, yeah, so um, we're not actually going to cover that. Sorry. <laughs> let's get on to uh, how to build it. So for the materials list, uh, this is what you'll need as long as I got all of the counting right. Maybe I did it wrong. Uh, I'll be honest, if you just finished building a platform builder and you tore it down, you're going to have way more than enough parts. Uh, you are able to use honey this time, but you'll need an extra block. Oh, right. And obviously, like, if you're going to be using the snow golem, then you'll also need a, a composter. I didn't put it in here. And also the parts to build a snow golem and... If you wanted to push blocks down, like, you'll need an extra piston. So, yeah. And also, like, you'll probably want a bit of, like, moss or leaves or something. They're, they're a good temporary block when working with flying machines. Let's reuse this platform, I guess. I'll start off by uh, uh, doing a tutorial for just, like, if you're going to use snow. Um, it doesn't actually matter if you go with the long end first or the short end first, but uh, you're going to come over to this corner, whichever corner that refers to. Place two snow blocks like that, and then a composter, and then jump up onto it and place that. Now, uh, you want to come around here, and then place a sticky piston like that, and one like that. Then you're going to come over here, come out an extra two blocks, and place an observer like that. Go like that, and a redstone block. Yeah, that's what that thing is called. Um, come over here, uh, one, two, and then over here, and yeah, earlier I said that I was going to use um, moss as temporary blocks, but never mind, I guess. Uh, place a piston right there, and one right there, make sure that's got nothing. Uh, you're also going to need an observer like that, and a piston like that, and uh, an observer there, and finally an observer here. Now, if you wanted to do, like, pushing blocks down, then you're actually going to build it at the same height, but you actually need to build it, this whole thing, further out by one block. I'm too lazy to do that, but... And you also, of course, need to use a piston instead. Uh, but maybe less obviously, this observer will need to face down, and careful not to activate it while putting it there. So if you need to, don't do that, apparently. Well, now that I had to uh, break the whole thing, I might as well just rebuild it one block over. Um, anyways, so where were we? Okay, so you wanted to, you'll probably want to place a temporary block there and then do that. Yeah. Now, regardless of what you're going with, uh, you're going to come over to this side now, um, over here. Go up one, two, uh, three. And then you're going to go over by uh, another three. Uh, replace that with a sticky piston. And uh, actually I actually had to go like a little bit further, I think, like that. So that you can place a an observer there. Or you can also uh, do that and place the observer there. And if you're using honey, you have to do it that way. So, uh, but either way works. And then piston there, line block there, and then you want all of this gone. Maybe not that full. Now, before you actually go ahead and run it, there's one other important piece of business we have to take care of. Come over to the opposite end. You're going to place a block like that, 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 and then a redstone block. I think you can use just about any block for that, but you know, I like to use leaves or moss just to be sure. And then you're going to do the same thing over on this side. And that makes sure that this thing actually stops. Also, as you have probably figured out, if you're doing the snow golem, um, you're going to need to, well, turn him into a snow golem, which you can do by doing that. Uh, and of course, you could also shear him to get the, the what's it called, back his head. Uh, but now, now you can go ahead, and I should not do that, That's because that's going to break stuff. Uh, but now you can go ahead and put a 
a leaves or a moss right there and there you go it will do its thing of course i still get anxious every time i run it for the first time because i'm like well did i actually build it right especially now that i'm doing the block by block tutorial because like if i get it wrong here that's really bad well that's all for today um i think you know the drill by now make sure to press all of the fancy buttons if you want to but most of all one second i think i have to zoom in for this trans rights are human rights